Happy New Year, everybody. Look who's here early. Yeah, he actually got here early today. Who was here first? I just want to know who was here first. Tell him. You're not gonna tell him, are you? This, you know why? You know why though? He's he's here first. Why? Because it's 2023. <laughs> I'm this on is, something different. This is your new, yeah, your New Year's resolution. Let's see how long it lasts. I'm gonna be here early. Most because if you're late, most times. if you're late once, you're always gonna be late for the rest of your life. That's not true. <laughs> it it tells you a lot about a person. I don't think that's true, y'all. What do y'all think? Y'all think the same thing, or you could get you could be late a couple times, just a couple times. Wait, in all fairness, you didn't tell me what time to meet you. Yeah, he didn't tell. He didn't even give me a time. He just said, "I'm on my way." So I was like, "Oh, I guess that means I'm on my way too." Because that's the way to beat it. You can't be late if you don't set a time. I need to take pre-workout. Me too. Yeah, me too. Damn, dry scoop. Dry scoop. I was hoping I would have more motivation since it's a new year, but I don't. It's January 2nd. I still feel tired going to the gym. It's alright. It's alright. So, so all we got is. You don't like to dry scoop. I don't like to sip on stuff that don't taste good. Just take one to the dome. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I hate to be one of those people that just, uh, isn't guns blazing because it's a new year mm -hmm. that's what i wanted did i wake up this morning feeling that no i did not no i did not and that's why we have free workout that's the difference between us and them all right we're disciplined or i'm just a realist yeah. i'm just a realist i'm here i decided to come train a hundred percent because it's about that time of the month for me. And I know if that's coming, I ain't gonna wanna train when it drops. You know what I'm saying? If you're a lady, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know what the hell they be talking about. I don't know, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And I already feel it. So I'm trying to just get this leg workout in as soon as I can. So I can just kind of rest. Smart, very smart. So let's see if I can get through today.
between these single leg movements is insane. I'm, I'm not even doing super high rep ranges on these. I'm doing reps of eight. But any type of unilateral movement, single leg, I don't care if it's a lunge, a Bulgarian a squat, a step up, curtsy lunge, single leg anything. It feels like you're doing hit cardio no matter what. So I'm literally having to take like at least five five minute rests in between sets. It's insane and this is our second exercise. Alright. Look, no, no, do no. not cut your workout I short. I did. You called me at the wrong time. You, you took forever to get the camera out. That's, nah, that's on you. Nah. All my dudes hey, out there, if you who, want to. Who put you on? I've done these before. I've done these before. And dudes watching this channel, y'all need to hit these, all right? Work your glutes. It's a stronger foundation. My spin facts or cap, just let me know. Got it in. Nothing feels better than being done with the gym. And I felt like shit. I didn't want to do this today. Yeah. Yeah, this was a tough one today, man. It but. was tough, man. We had to rely a lot on some pre-workout. And even then, I didn't even feel it kick in, yeah. if I'm being honest. Strictly willpower. I think 90% of the time, you don't feel energized to be at the gym. You just do it. You know, and hopefully it comes easier with each passing workout. But man, we we struggling today. Tomorrow Mer should be way better. Mercury's also in retrograde, yeah. so it's trying me. So feeling a little bit not as motivated physically, but also you know that brain fog. You got brain fog? A little bit, yes, I do. So, here we go. 2023. It's, it's been a great start. Yeah, good start. <laughs> Welcome to UT's Kitchen. Today we are going to be doing a lasagna soup. Not just any lasagna soup. This is like deconstructing lasagna and just putting it in a soup. I saw it on um, Instagram. <laughs> Sorry, I'm cutting this onion and my eyes, I'm still, I can't open them, I'm crying. And uh, I was like, I definitely gotta try it for myself. So I'm chopping an onion. I hate chopping onion. Cause why, why does it make you cry? <laughs> If I mess this up, I'm going to blame it on whoever made up this recipe, but I feel like you can't mess it up. You can't fuck this up. Okay, so I'm going to be using a ground beef. I believe the recipe, oh my God, my eyes. <laughs> I believe the recipe calls for um, ground beef. 
You see my eyes? I'm crying. Yeah. Um, ground beef and, and like pork. I don't want the pork. I'm trying to have a lean protein source. This is the leanest I've found. It's uh, Maverick and it's 96% lean, 4% fat. So I'm going to brown this with onion, hella garlic, and um, olive oil. And then the noodles for this soup is really cool. It's basically a lasagna strip and you break it into little pieces like this. Whoa, missed, missed the pan there. All right, so we got garlic, onions, hella garlic. So I'm not playing. I don't play games with garlic. It's actually antibacterial, isn't it? Or anti the antibiotic. <laughs> <laughs> really, I heard if you take three cloves of garlic a day, it's like your daily antibiotic. That's how powerful it is, from what I've heard. Well, from, a, from a herbalist. Okay. Smell that. Mm. That does smell like garlic onions. <laughs> garlic, 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 <laughs> and onions. garlic, onions. garlic, onions. garlic, onions. <laughs> Okay, so we have the ground beef browned. Next step. The dry herbs. So we're going to do parsley. I'm not measuring because... Italian spices. This has like all the oregano and whatnot. Then we also got to add in three tablespoons of tomato paste. This is half a tablespoon, so I'm going to do six. One. Not an exact science. Boom. Let's see what that looks like. Hmm. Okay. Then one jar, 24 ounces of tomato sauce. <coughs> I'm gonna fuck my jacket up, ain't I? Hold on. If you don't have one of these at your house, you're probably just gonna have to use something else. All right, I'll let you pour that in there. You pour it? Yeah. All right, you're getting a little too cocky. Let's just pour it in. Now it's gonna splatter everywhere because he he don't know how to pour the sauce in. Yep, yep, it's splattering. Guys, I'm not I'm not the cook. I, I don't I don't Thank do God. this. <laughs> All right, let's stir this in. And it's on my jacket. No, it's not. No. So we have the tomato sauce. Now, the one ingredient that I didn't expect is four cups of chicken stock. And I've been really just enjoying getting to cook and eat all this food. I think this whole thing is four cups. Yeah. It's four cups, bro. Yeah, so I'm gonna add this whole thing of chicken stock. That bit looks just like soup, bro. That bit looks like goddamn soup. Yeah, it said you could use chicken broth or vegetable. Yeah. 
So that is going to get brought to a boil. And then we're going to add in our lasagna. So I could not find noodles that were like already broken up. Some people already have noodles. Well, not here where I live. So they say you could take lasagna sheets and you just break them up. It's gonna, trust me, when it starts to get boily and it's finished, <laughs> my eye! <laughs> it, it's gonna be good. I think I wanna add a lot of noodles to this. I want an extra noodle. <coughs> Just for the soup. All right, so once this gets brought to a boil, we're gonna throw it all together. That's it. Okay, it is brought to a boil. So now we add in all of our little pasta noodles. I used a lot because I'm trying to make it extra noodly. Um, some people add a, like heavy cream to this to make it creamy, but I think that's a little much. We have a lot of other stuff that we're gonna top it with that's gonna make it extra creamy, so you'll see. Okay, so while that's boiling, we're gonna make the topping for this. This is this is what takes it to the next level. So you're gonna mix ricotta. I got the whole milk one because I just wanted to experience this like luxury, luxury lasagna. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna do a scoop for me, a scoop for Sean, and a scoop for good luck. So three scoops. Apparently you're gonna mix this ricotta cheese with Parmesan. So, ooh, oh shit. That's a lot. <laughs> mix it. And you cheese, mix but... it. And you mix it. And then you chop up some basil. You're gonna top it with this. Although I do think um a little creature got into my basil because look at that. There's another one. Look. Goddamn. Yeah. A little critter. So anyway, I chopped up some basil. I think that I should put, I'm gonna put a little bit in here, but then I'm also gonna save some to top off for garnish. Yeah. <laughs> oh, apparently you can add spinach to the soup as well. I forgot to get at the store and I don't really care too much about spinach. I'll eat it. I like it, but it's not a it's not a must. You like spinach? I do. I don't like that. <laughs> you don't like either. spinach that much. It's like the whole benefit. And then we're also gonna top it Mutari. with mozz. If you're really Italian, which I'm not, I'm not Italian at all, but they say mozz. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. Put some moots on the soup. All right. Damn, that's gonna be so good. It's a big old cheese ball. Mm. You're gonna like this. How cute the noodles are. Yeah, that looks good. You want a, a spoon or a fork? Fork, please. Which one? Fork. All right, as you can see, the lasagna soup is done. Now, we've got it topped. Oops. 
So we're gonna do our ricotta mixture. Just like a big dollop. Ooh. Do a dollop. My, sorry guys. <laughs> sorry guys. Yup. Okay. Then, You can't have lasagna without mozzarella, right? Okay. So much cheese. It's gonna be so good though. And Just let you get in the prank. Let you get the prank. Okay. Oh I kind of want you to try it first. Of course. Because if I die, right? Wait, you gotta get the. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! It's hot in the motherfucker though. Don't play with me either. I want a real score. <clears throat> <laughs> um, I'll be real. That is... That is really good. Let's go ahead and give it a... 9, 6 out of 10. What? Okay, now I definitely gotta try it. Mm -hmm. See, I got some of that ricotta. Yeah. All right, let's go. Are you kidding me? Oh my. That's a 10 out of 10. That's a 10 out of 10. Five minutes. Why are you eating it so fast? I'm not. I took two bites. Oh my God. We're at big as hell. Dude, y'all gotta look up this recipe. Just type up lasagna soup or deconstructed lasagna soup. You can't really mess this up. But I would say the ricotta and the parmesan and the basil on top is what sends it. You know, it's super creamy, right? So if y'all are trying to cream in them jeans, is that too much? I shouldn't have taken it that far. I'm sorry. Oh my God, the garlic bread. dieting you need to enjoy every morsel mm -hmm. I think we got to end it here because I'm gonna devour this so hope you guys enjoy your week comment below if you tried this recipe and you liked it <laughs>